Good day London, I'm Betsy Roy and this is Pearl Davis. Welcome to the Victorian Conversation. Today we will be discussing many important topics involving the times now, right here in our own London, England. Some of these topics we will be covering today are fashion, class, crime, toys, entertainment and the working field. Today is a very important day in the Victorian conversation because it is December 31st, 1901. On this special program, we will be looking back on the most important events that took place in this past year. Let's start with fashion. Right now, big ornate dresses are becoming less popular. Long flowy dresses are becoming more popular, especially those with lots of colors, and for accessories, flowers in their hair are becoming more popular too. As for men, long sleeves, pea coats, long button jackets, slacks, and hats seem to be becoming more popular too. That's about it for fashion. Time for the news. Queen Victoria died this year on January 22nd. She died of a cerebral hemorrhage. She was 81 years old, and she was queen for 63 years. All adults wore black as a sign of mourning after her death. She has been buried in a mausoleum in Frogmore, Windsor. And now on a happier note, the New York Stock Exchange has exceeded 2 million shares for the first time ever. And an Italian inventor named Marconi sent the first wireless transmission across 2,000 miles of Atlantic Ocean. Sadly, crime is increasing in the London railways. There are speculations about how some of the railroads were funded. Some of these speculations include stock manipulation, and there are other rumors about prostitution in railways. Thankfully, the Metropolis Police Force and other undercover agents are investigating the rumors and speculations about the railroad crimes. We'll be back after a commercial break. When we return, we will discuss entertainment. Join us tonight at the annual London Circus. Our circus consists of many things. Like acrobatics, animals, and the ferris wheel. Welcome back to the Victorian Conversation. As we said, we are going to discuss entertainment. Many groups of clubs that have been becoming more popular are sewing clubs, craft clubs, sports groups, church groups, community clubs, choir clubs, and orchestra groups. Those all sound very interesting, and there's something in there for everyone. Guess what? What? The circus is coming to town tonight! It looks like a lot of fun. I think I will go. There's going to be a ferris wheel, lots of yummy food, animals, and very cool acts. Continuing with entertainment, there are many art exhibits, singing, dancing, and cooking lessons all throughout London. There are also many theatre halls which have ventriloquists, hypnotists, and poets which have been hosted there throughout the year. Now, moving on with labour in the past year. Labour conditions have been very poor, especially for children. Many children work in factories and workhouses. Children of any age work 16 hours a day under atrocious conditions, mostly just to help pay the family's bills. The children were yelled at, beaten, and treated like garbage. The poor children in the workhouses ate, slept, and lived there. I would hardly call it those children were given as a meal, considered eating. Their portions were so small. Yes. While the children work all throughout the day, they somehow managed to find time to play with their toys. They used to play with wooden toys and rag dolls, but that was it. Besides the children, there are many other working classes. The skilled laborers were craftsmen. They were considered the highest of the Victorian workers. There were also semi-skilled factory jobs, laborers and blacksmiths and artisans. The semi-skilled workers were the textile mill workers, the miners, and the workers at the Welsh dairies. There are also agricultural workers. They are the farmers and the cider makers, among other things. The unskilled workers were considered the railroad constructors, London nightmen, and the rat catchers. Popular professions in the law were judges, solicitors, and barristers. Popular clergy jobs were representatives of the Anglican and descending clergy in Victorian literature. Other jobs were construction workers, civil engineers, mechanical engineers, school teachers, and physicians. The jobs of women were needlewomen, dressmakers, slop workers, washerwomen, governesses, and servants. 
Well, that's all for this very special Victorian conversation. Thanks for listening to Bessie Roy and I, Pearl Davis. We'll see you next week at the same time, and be sure to make a New Year's resolution to make the year 1902 the best year so far. Good, Good day, day, London! London.